Hi there, welcome to Big V TV. Great to have you with us. Division two men, 18 rounds down, done and dusted, headed towards finals. As we said last week, coming into round 18, the top five couldn't change. Certainly positions could, but in terms of the five teams that were in there, Steve, I couldn't mm -hmm. change. Give us the rundown. Uh, as in games or the top five? No, the position. games will do. All right, cool. Pakenham kicked us off, 84, knocked over. Maccabi, 68. Josh Smith, very good for Pakenham with 23. He started, by the way. We said that come finals time, he would have worked his way into the starting Wow, well, well, there you go. We said that. Knocked over the combination of Yeriv, Amaram and Benji Tamir. They combined for 50-odd points. He so, might even uh, be training twice a week now, Josh Smith. <laughs> Well done to the Warriors. The vet. Wow. Uh, yeah, very good. I Look, I think they had a, a couple of hiccups in the last six weeks, games I didn't expect them to lose, but they finished second on the ladder, and anyone who finishes second on the ladder, you've got to give them a little bit of notice for sure. Yeah, um, I've, been, I've been with Packy the whole way through. No, you, you have. No, I agree They've had a couple of losses and a couple of speed humps, but yep. they will be fine in finals, and this was just... Um, this was just them warming up for it. Western Port 78 defeated Oakley 39. Peter Whelan 19.17 rebounds for the Steelers. Naomi Lazis at 11.17 rebounds for Oakley. I think the Warriors, as in Oakley Warriors, have dropped right off since uh, yeah, the King departed. When the King went down, uh, the Warriors the, went down. When the King went down, Oakley also just lost labour. They've got no players. No. They've got six players. You no. can't win games with six players. No, you can't run out of leagues pretty quickly. Um, I'm going to talk about Western Port in a moment. Uh, Collingwood 64 played Craigieburn 92. Now we look, depending on how results went the week before, this could have been the decider for the finals. Although we spoke about yep. this a little bit last week, Steve. Mm -hmm. But Craigieburn could just come out and go, "Hey, look at us! Look, it doesn't matter though, because you didn't make it, Eagles. Um, big win there, uh, Manny 19 and seven. But that was Manny uh, Luth. Emmanuel Luth. Yeah, Emmanuel Luth. It was not Manny Hendricks. Manny oh. Hendricks played. Yep, but Emmanuel but Luth. Didn't have to do much. Had 19 mm -hmm. and 7 off the bench, I think, too. Liam Watt had 26 for Craig Burn. Anything to see there? Look, not really. I think Collingwood were probably playing, but resting bodies just to make sure they're okay for next week. Um, and Craig Burn, you know, last game, go out in the high. Well, could have been. I don't it. think Collingwood really cared. No. no. Coburg 61 defeated North East 55. Jordan Harding, great form at the moment. Uh, Jordan is. A 21 and 9. Dylan Webb, as he always does, 16 points, 12 rebounds, 6 blocks. North East proved competitive this season, but they still finished second last on the ladder, Steve O. Yeah, and look, Bushies will be disappointed with the last couple of weeks because they would have uh, gone into team meetings having a goal of, you know, just dishing up a couple of upsets and um, marking up the top five. Uh, they went down to, was it Western Port by two or three last week? Yeah, three. Just fell short. Same thing here with Coburg. So while they were competitive, they still want to win those games. And, um, you know, in the end, it was it was a poor season for North East, but there's certainly signs for the future. First time he's used the word poor and North East in the same sentence. And uh, although they were 4-14, four and 14, the man to my right at least tipped them 18 times to win this season. So you were with them the whole way, mate. Rain, hail, or shine. Uh, Sunday, Altona 105 defeated Mornington 82. Uh, Justin Eckhart and Dogukin Aliaza had 28 points each for Altona. Uh, Ballinger had 23 points, 9 rebounds, 5 assists for Mornington. Uh, Mornington are a bit of a concern for me. With that mm -hmm. loss, they go to fourth. And their last month of basketball has not been that good, Jeffo. No, it hasn't, and um, I think this would have, they would have had a second chance, am I correct, if they won this game? I think so. Yes. So they've just cost themselves a second chance, yep. and um, it's a bad loss to a team which was previously only on five wins. Mm -hmm. A really bad loss. Now, um, Altona obviously had some other people stepping up um, this week and contributing to score 100 points. The only thing I'd say about um, Altona, I think Altona hit 14 threes in this game as well. Where was this for the whole season, fellas? Yeah. Hmm. Like, jeez. Uh, seriously concerning for Mornington they go into finals it is let's talk about finals I'll oh, give us the letter for, we already know the letter Western Port finish on top Pakenham second Coburg Mornington and Collingwood round top out five, five. Craigie Burn Maccabi Altona North East and Oakley so Oakley fall down to Division 3 next season yeah, possibly right. um, finals week one here we go it is uh, best of three final series no oh sorry it's top five sorry Pakenham sorry, and sorry. Coburg uh, double chance. I've only got 12 shows to do every week, Steve. Oh, don't hold that against me. Western Port have the week off. That's what I wanted to say. 
Um, just and came I, out a little differently. It just came out a little bit differently. I think Pakenham, uh, sorry, Western Port are a big chance this season if it's a defensive scrap. I said it last week. If someone opens them up, uh, they may not have the scoring power to go with you. May not. But that's the test. Defence wins finals. We know that. So yeah, you never know. Yeah, it'll be interesting. Um, Pakenham and Coburg are... Uh, Double chance for both teams. Who's going to win? Packy. Yeah, look, I think Packy. I, I, I rate Coburg highly, but I think just the difference here is home court. Pardon the pun, but I hope they pack the venue out down there. I hope oh, they get certainly. a big crowd. They've got a great yeah, venue out yeah, there they, too. Yeah, they've got a fantastic so, venue. hope there's a big, big crowd there for this game. It'd be Saturday night, wouldn't it? Yeah, probably. Saturday? More than likely. Uh, knockout final. Mornington mm. take on Collingwood. Now, four weeks ago, I would have said Mornington by 20. Yeah. Does anyone give Collingwood a chance? I do, mainly because of Manny Hendricks. If he can get going yep. and get that score ticking over and Maduk Muhammad can step up mm. and um, give him that sort of support as well as um, limiting Ballinger's impact, um, I think Collingwood do have a chance. I give Collingwood a chance, but I think similar to you, Jeffo, it's... Who steps up around Manny as well as Manny peak form? Like if Manny's not at his peak potential and his peak form, they they won't win. I reckon uh, Matty Van Dijkhuizen has to have a really good game yeah. to go with uh, Ballinger as well. Mornington this week. This, this is this is Saturday night, by the way. Mornington have a triple header of finals this yeah. week. A triple header, Steve O. It's youth. Uh, Youth women, mm-hmm. youth men. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, it might be the women, uh, is it? Who is? Who is it? Come on, tell me. No, it's the youth men, because youth men got a bye last week, so it's the youth men, and it's also the youth women. So where's their senior women? They must be playing away, are they? Sen- must be playing away. Senior women are... No, oh, right. their senior women are playing at home as well. they got all four teams playing at home this week. Good but season for the Breakers. Right? Yeah, yeah, well done, Breakers. Well, it won't be, a, won't be a quad header. It'll be a triple header. We don't have quads. Um, but what I would say... Uh, actually, no. Mornington Youth, two men are playing away. Oh, there you go. That's a three-game series. Okay, there you go. Oh, on the road first. Yep. Um, so it's a triple header. Youth women, senior women, senior men. Yep. You only get charged once to get in. So mm. if you want to get down cool. and Value see money. three about, finals, yep. uh, get down to Morno this Saturday night. Mornington Secondary College. It's a bloody great Mornington. night out. Secondary oh, sorry. No, where do they play? No, a Mornington Basketball Stadium. Sorry, that's what I meant, Steve-O. Um, uh, yeah, all the details are on the website anyway. Mornington or Collingwood, I'm going Breakers. Yeah, I'm going Breakers. Ballinger and the boys will get it. There you go. We'll be back to wrap it up next week. Don't forget to top five. Western Port have the week off. Uh, and one of either Mornington or Collingwood will no longer be with us after this weekend. We'll see you next week on Big V TV.